All right, I wanted to just show the setup I got for doing the uniform distribution testing. I got the nozzle on the end of the plastic wand from the M4. I got the extender hose running to the M4. Uh, with the tripod centered, I can raise and lower the center piece of it so it gets readings at various heights. And uh, with that, I can test not only the the T-Jet nozzle that came with the M4, the plastic one, I'll be able to test other ones. Again, it's mainly testing the uniform distribution on the flat fan type nozzles. For the first test, I've got the nozzle 21 inches above the top of the catch cups. I'm not sure at this point how many minutes <clears throat> I'll let it run. I'll kind of monitor how much is being collected. And from that I'll set kind of a standard for when I'll cut off the tests. So let's give it a try. First thing I'll do, I'll put the trigger on trigger lock. <coughs> Got the power off here. I'll put it on max and we'll hit go. filling up very fast. All right, just to give you an idea, this is the center cup. See how full that is? How much it goes down as we get farther out on the fan that's why they say don't just go by the wet spots clear the center gets a lot more fluid than the tips now I'm probably gonna have to set it up for like a 30 second test which will be kind of nice because I get the test over quickly and I can go through a lot of different nozzles well, that's the idea. All right, I'm going to redo later. the test. I got a clock down with the sprayer so I can be filming and catch it. I'm going to say about 30 seconds and see, uh, see where we're at, and I'll make my measurements from there. Until we got some wind blowing into the garage here. These catch cups are all listed in milliliters, but it's really not the number that we're worried about. It's more how they are in proportion to each other. So I'm going to collect this data and get it plotted out and we'll see what it looks like.